Hey guys, it's Brie and Baby, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be Little Emery's one week update. So Emery is about a week old now, and she is now weighing about nine pounds and two ounces, which is a little bit different from her birth weight, which was nine pounds and five ounces. So starting with the beginning of this update, um, as you can tell, we are still in the hospital. We've been in the hospital for almost a week now, exactly. We are filming this a couple days before she turns a week old, but basically it's all the same. So she has officially been seizure free for a couple of days now. I wanna say ever since last Saturday, about four days now. Um, and so basically now all we're doing is waiting on her antibiotics to finish and then we are allowed to finally go home. But secondly for the update, I wanted to inform you guys that because of the seizures, she is on phenobarbital. I don't know if I said that exactly correct, but good enough. We aren't going to wean her down just yet. We are going to wait until we go to specialists and doctors after we leave the hospital. So when we do leave the hospital, baby will still be on that drug, but it is for the seizures and so far so good it has worked and she has been seizure free ever since she's been on it um thirdly for her update she sleeps a lot as you can see in this video she is asleep i kind of wanted her to be awake for it but i think it's better she's asleep that way i can actually talk to you guys but yes she sleeps a lot especially after a feed but it's better than her being fussy because when she was about two days old, she was very, very fussy, and it's because she did not feel good. So the better she feels, the more she sleeps, I think. Fourthly, for our update, she does eat a lot. Eats honestly more than I feel like she needs to be eating, but then again, I don't want to not feed her enough. But yes, she eats a lot at a time. We did take to breastfeeding as soon as I had her. Um, she took to the breastfeeding immediately. But after she was in the NICU, we had a little bit of nipple confusion because they did put her on my breast milk, but on a bottle. And so they got her on a schedule, a feeding schedule, and they gave her a bottle, which had a nipple. So every time now that she gets super super hungry instead of wanting to breastfeed honestly she takes the easy way out and she just wants me to give her a bottle which is a little bit frustrating for her and a little bit frustrating for me as well but i do plan to continue trying to breastfeed and trying to overcome her stubbornness on this fifth for our update her umbilical cord did already come off it came off the second day that she was born it didn't come off naturally, I don't believe, because it's supposed to take a couple days for them to come off. Um, they did actually kind of have to force it off. I know that sounds harsh, but it really wasn't. But they did take it off. That way they could put an IV through her belly button so it wasn't as harsh as resticking her veins. Speaking of her veins, um, she did have an IV in her foot, and I was going to show you guys. But as soon as she got back from the NICU this time, they informed us that it went bad and so now they're gonna have to find another place to stick her they're trying to stick her head as of next time so i'll let you guys know how that goes honestly it makes me really nervous i like the fact that they had the IV in her foot because i didn't really have to worry about it just too much but we will find out where they stick her next and like i said i will let you guys know how that goes seventh for my update is stinky girl here still has not taken her first bath now, technically, they have washed her hair um, just because they did a whole bunch of brain testing and they had to put, like, sonogram gel on her hair. So, they did kind of wash it off with a rag or something, I'm sure. But her technical first bath she has not had and we plan to wait until we get home to give her her first bath together. And eighth for my update was, once again, touching on her weight. Like I said, she is 9 pounds and 2 ounces at this point and she does not fit in any preemie clothes that is for sure newborn clothes she fits in them kind of her zero to three months still does not fit um fits a little bit better than newborn but she's still kind of busting out of it like the hulk so that is baby emery's one week update if you guys enjoyed her little baby update 
give me a big thumbs up. Leave it down in the comments below what your baby's birth weight was. If you haven't subscribed before, go ahead and subscribe because you guys will be seeing a lot more of little baby Emery. And I will see you guys next video.